Hello, this is Evangelist Dr. Robert L. McKim Sr. Well, I wanted to do a quick video here. To let you know what happened yesterday after I did the other video. I went to pick up this razor I was talking about. I went to pick it up. And it felt real hot in my hand. I'm like, what is going on? It's real hot. I mean, hot, hot. I mean, hot. Mm. Like it was on fire hot. And I, of course, you know, took the bottom part off to take the battery out. And the battery itself was also real hot as well. And, because uh, I was going to take it to the bathroom and with the uh, other ones. And I said to Renee, because Renee was in the bathroom, I said, fill this. And it was so hot, she dropped the battery on the floor because it was hot. And I called uh, Gillette, which is uh, Johnson Johnson, to let them know again that this had got hot, real hot with the, bat with the new, new battery in it. It's almost really like the it, the switch doesn't want to work no more. You don't know if it's on or off. And it might be on and not working and, and drawing so much on the battery. It, it's causing the battery to overheat. Long story short, it's broke. I didn't break it. It was like that. They they don't make things. Things are not made to last like they used to. And and take our TV for instance. It's a mega box. I can't say mag magna. I can't say it too well because I have too many teeth to uh, talk right right now. Magna box. TV made in 1983 it still has good picture and uh, good sound but every now and then uh, the color goes to almost like black and white and I had to pound on the side of the TV to get the color to come back again so there's a tube in there that is getting weak evidently and um, but you know, it, you can't really find anybody anymore that works on these kind of TVs that would have maybe a tube. They tell you just throw it away, just throw it away and get a new one. Get get you gotta get the new modern digital stuff. That still doesn't last any longer. That they're, they're only made to last maybe at tops seven years I had a TV one time it was a tube tube TV you know good brand I think it was GE or something like that RCA I think it was RCA bought it from this REX store in New Philly by the mall went out of business but and I bought a uh, I had years manufacturer warranty and then I bought a year extended warranty on it just before the manufacturer's warranty had ran out it quit working took it in they sent it off somewhere to get fixed come find out a little circuit a little circuit in there went bad well of course then the years uh, extended warranty kicked in and then just before that warranty ran out, that same circuit. Well, you know, there's a little uh, diodes or whatever they're called. I, I mean, people that's into electronics more than I am, they know what I'm talking about. They're little and they're round. There's blue and there's different colors. Why bad again?
And they said something to me about that TV. They just said, well, did you just throw it away and get a new one? That is what people think anymore. Just If something goes bad, just throw it away, get a new one. Throw it away, get a new one. This is a throw away world in, that we are living in. We throw away products that we buy if they break instead of trying to get them fixed. So that they work again for a longer time. They just don't make anything like they used to. Back in the uh, 70s and 80s, they made things to last. Today, they make things to fall apart and to break. And I, I'm talking, okay? Chill, baby girl. My cat here. She wants to get into the uh, picture. And, uh... I think she wants to go over here to the uh, window. You want to go over to the window? Okay. Well, anyhow, long story short. They don't make things to last. And, uh... When I bought that uh, Remington uh, Styler, it last. It last roughly 12 years last longer than these uh, Gillette uh, stylers this world is, is basically gone crazy granny did send me a gift card uh, for $22.99 and that's without the tax. The tax is a dollar fifty. They should send me the tax too, because I still had to pay the tax out of my own pocket. Granted, that goes to the government, but still, that's money out of my own pocket. Money I had to pay for to buy their product. Grant, it goes to the state. Everybody has to pay taxes, but they should have to pay the taxes back to me since their products don't last very long and then I want to talk about too um, is that um, I was watching uh, last night I was watching uh, it's supernatural with Sid Roth What gets me is Sid Roth had said something that he basically doesn't believe in all the doom and gloom. He sounds like uh, somebody else I know. But did Jesus stutter when he said these things will happen before he returns? It's not supposed to be, yeah, it's not supposed to be doom and gloom. It's a warning. It's a warning he warned us these things will happen and will take place before he returns is it doom and gloom it's doom and gloom for the unsaved it's doom and gloom for the people who do not understand even the Christians who do not understand what uh, all that means because Jesus said, let him who has an ear, let him hear. In other words, let him who has the understanding, let him understand what is going to happen. There are people that do not have the understanding. Not, not even that they went to high school and college. They don't have the understanding that takes to understand the mysteries that Jesus was trying to teach us. There, 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 you know, are, are not just the words of Jesus, but the words of Paul as well, and Timothy, 
and uh, Peter. There and uh, of course John, that uh, when uh, he was given the revelation of Jesus Christ. Of what is going to happen in the end days there would be a lot of false prophets a lot of antichrists but of course only one antichrist that will come on scene and we will see the antichrist come on scene before Jesus returns a lot of people say, well, no, we're not supposed to be here for that. We're going to be out of here. As I keep saying, so if you're driving down uh, a busy highway and you're coming to a tunnel, and that tunnel inside is falling apart, you know, got concrete falling down, you got the... Uh, um, Water dripping everywhere. You got uh, almost like a waterfall cascading down the side of the uh, inside the uh, tunnel. You got uh, these uh, little hanging uh, uh, weeds roots. And, I mean, the tunnel just. I mean, it's like, do you really want to drive through that tunnel? But yet, you gotta go through the tunnel to get to the other side. Jesus said, he who endures to the end will be saved. He didn't say, stop before you go into the tunnel and I will rescue you from going into the tunnel. No. He said, you go through the tunnel. You go through the tribulation. You go through and I will be on the other side to rescue you. Or to take you out, to rapture you. That is what Jesus said. But there are a lot of people who want to put their own stupid twists in the word and say, well, wait a minute. You know that John Shuri, he's a nut. He doesn't know what he's talking about. But yet, Said Roth, you had him on your show. You also had 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 and ha and still having Johnson Khan on your show, and he is trying to warn people about the Samita, what it really means, that it means a financial collapse of not just the United States but the entire world. The Achean, the New World Order. Or the one world government. Granted, the Samita could mean, you know, greater things, a big blessing. But nine times out of ten, when when did the Samita mean, or uh, when when did anything great happen during the Samita? Everything of. Uh, a financial collapse happens during the Samita year. You know, something that wasn't even uh, put in the John, uh, John, uh, excuse me, uh, John, uh, Rabbi Johnson Kahn, I had to think here, in his book was about Enron. Remember Enron, that big company, Enron, that collapsed? It happened during a Samita year as well. Nobody thinks about that. A lot of people lost their 501c3, I mean a 501, um, 401k, 401k retirement plans when Enron uh, collapsed. The earth is groaning for the Lord's return. There was an eight point something, I can't remember what the, the point was. Uh, earthquake. 
down in the Chile area of uh, South America. Uh, I mean, you know, there was that nine point something earthquake over in Japan. Earthquakes are becoming more frequently, more frequent earthquakes. A lot of earthquakes, because Jesus said there will be earthquakes, which means many in various places. Many places. So the problem is, uh, there's somebody, was that a church uh, one Sunday, that said, uh, well, that's not a sign. Uh, 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 how do you know how many earthquakes it's going to be? Well, because the Bible says earthquakes, plural, more than one. Or otherwise it would say there would be earthquake, not earthquakes. So, you know what? I am using theology, and I'm using the true functionation of the word earthquake and earthquake. Plural means more than one. And, and, and so Jesus said there would be more than one earthquake in, in many places. That, uh, that's a, not, uh, it's the beginning of sorrows. We are in the beginning of sorrows and, and gradually going into the tribulation. Jesus said in uh, Revelations uh, that uh, there would be people with their heads cut off for, uh, for witnessing. Jesus said that there were, in, in Matthew, that uh, we'll be hated for his namesake and we'll be uh, put on trial, handed over. Jesus said he did not come to bring uh, peace, but a sword, a division. Divide the sheep from the goats. Divide. He came to bring, bring division. To bring division. There will be Christians that will not go to have be raptured. And the ones that will be raptured are the ones who follow what Jesus said. Even, even Paul said, don't follow me, don't follow all these other people, just follow Jesus Christ. If someone is not preaching Jesus Christ, then they're not preaching the truth. Paul said he preached Jesus Christ. In the beginning, he was trying to use uh, um, philosophy, but that didn't work, so he preached Jesus Christ. Well, listen, you know, it, it's just getting close. Every time I get up in the morning, you know, I learned something news hap new has happened and, and something different has happened. And, you know, preachers that are having these shows that uh, are talking about what's going to happen, they need to be listened to. People, preachers who uh, say, well, don't listen to them, but yet they have them on their shows. They have John Shuri, they have... Uh, John the Con, they have uh, Chris Putman and Tom Horn, and and uh, they have all these other uh, people that uh, talk about what's going to happen. Why don't they have me on their show too? Why don't they want to talk to me about my near-death experience and? Uh, my dreams and visions that I've been having because they don't want to listen just like a lot of you people out here on YouTube doesn't want to listen well listen my battery's about ready to go put 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 here so I'm going to say God bless you and uh, have a blessed day